All right, Hosses, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Mongo to use with the JetBrains IDE. So I know a lot of you guys have WebStorm. I'm actually going to be using IntelliJ for these tutorials since I already had it installed on my computer. But the process is pretty much the same no matter what JetBrains IDE you have. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to install the Mongo plugin. So go to File, Settings, and under your plugins, it's called Mongo Plugin. How creative. So I actually already have it installed, but you guys are going to see an install button. Again, I have an uninstall button because I already have it installed. So click the install button. It's going to install. And after it does, I believe that I believe you need to um, restart your IDE. So close out of it, restart it. And once you do, you're going to have this panel right here called Mongo Explorer. So click this and from here you're gonna to wanna to adjust the settings so it's that little wrench button with a little gear click this and right now what we need to do is we need to give it a path to the Mongo executable and if you guys watched my last tutorial then you guys already know where this is so you can either type it in or click this little three little dots and that's gonna open up a little explorer so it's in the hard drive, program files, MongoDB, server, bin, server 3.0 bin in mongo.exe. So hit OK. You can actually test it. Got that little green check mark. It says everything is working good. This executable is fine. So after this, we need to set up a server configuration so click this plus button right here and it already has the default port and location set up so the only thing we need to do is give it a label so this is pretty much just an identifier so you can um, if you have multiple configurations you can identify you know the different ones I'm just gonna name this localhost keep things real simple and hit OK so we now have a configuration looking good Hit apply and OK so as you can see we now have a local host right there from here we can actually right click this and choose well before we do that we actually need to start the server so in your command line if you just type mongod and hit enter our mongod database is now running so now what we can do is go back in JetBrains right click connect to server and once we do we're gonna see this right here so if you click this and click this button right there it's gonna open up your Mongo shell in other words you know in the last tutorial when I showed you guys how to run Mongo that little command line program and you could type your commands well this is pretty much the same thing it's just um, a little bit cooler version so again just like before you can type DB and to run you actually just click this green button and it says local and this is where we're going to be typing all of our commands and the reason I like this as well is because you can actually type multi line commands and it doesn't execute after every single line you can choose when you want to run it so it's a lot easier if you guys don't have this IDE well you probably wouldn't even be watching this tutorial you probably would have quit a long time ago but if you don't have it and you're just watching this for fun I highly recommend getting WebStorm it is a really awesome IDE so now we got everything set up in the next video we're gonna start learning some Mongo commands it's gonna be awesome